All right, good afternoon. So I've had a request, uh, a friend, a subscriber, uh, who that has purchased Big Country Football from Lulu. Uh, this bad boy right here sent me an email, said he purchased, picked, uh, he got them, and they were the printing was great. So I'm thrilled to hear that. But he had asked me to do a tutorial on how this particular version with these charts functions. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I have my own league. I have a six-team. 1974 a league I've been playing. Uh, I'm posting these results on the Discord channel. Uh, I've only been able to play the first week of the season. So week two, I'm going to go ahead and play uh, the next game, which is Columbus, uh, Denver at Columbus. Let's find Denver. Uh, Denver, Denver, Denver. So my teams are made. These teams were made using the rules in the book. Uh, got my teams made, gave everybody names. Uh, and then I made uh, little team books to see who's in the ball game to get credit for statistics. Here we go, Columbus. All right, so here are my teams. Uh, Six-team league, 1974 rules. Not going to use a football. I'm going to do a game log, which is what I recommend in the book. Don't try to use a football field, or you know, use a football field. Use whatever you like. A helper, even a, a football helper, whatever you prefer. It's all about preference. There's no hard and fast rules, but because I don't sell a football field or a marking device for, with the book, I recommend game log. So we're going to do a game log here. So let's go ahead and find our two teams. I'm not going to play the whole game. I'm just going to do a tutorial to teach the game. Oh, no. It's not my right. Oh, here, Denver. Whew. All right, man. I'm, uh, I haven't done this in a couple of weeks. I've been busy with other stuff. I haven't played my own game for, I would say, almost a month. Uh, man, maybe not a month, but a couple of weeks. So week one was fantastic. Columbus hammered um, Phoenix 35-21, and Denver hammered San Antonio 17-7. So we've got a pretty good matchup here. Denver at Columbus. So Denver, Columbus, 1-0 Denver, 1-0 Columbus. Okay, <clears throat> so first things first, all you need to play my game is pencil, paper, uh, you need to make teams or use the teams provided with the book. I would advise you transcribe them onto something that you can set down in front of you. Uh, I then made my starters so I can sub players in and out when I track statistics. I know who starts. So we got our starting quarterback for Denver is Stevenson. The starting halfback is Pinner. Starting fullback is Goldsmith. And then I have my receivers, X, Y, and Z. For those who don't know, in the old pro set offense, which was the offense that was featured really from the mid-70s through the 90s. The X receiver is the split end on the left side, wide side. Y is the tight end. And Z is the flanker. And in traditional pro set offenses, the F is the slot receiver. H is generally the third back or the H back. But I even have an F receiver here. I have my... Uh, Backup backs, running back, Burn Hall, Burnwell, and Sims, and then I have my starting backs. So there's Denver, right? We got them going here, and we got our starting quarterback. And this is a backup receiver. I'll just put him under X for now. So there's Denver right there. So again, this is not in the books. This is just what I do for my league when I track the game. Columbus Owls. We've got... Uh, Watson here. It's going to be kind of tough because I don't have the same table space here. Thomas, Wilson, uh, da, 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 Roberts, and King. So there's all my receivers. So I'll have Thomas and the Wilson out. I mean, all my backs. And then my X, Y, yeah, and then our X, Y, and Z receivers, right? Okay. So how does the game work? I think everybody kind of knows this, but we'll go over it just as if I'm teaching this for the first time. Blue is your offense. It's called the OD20, offensive D20, OD20, and red is your DD20, defensive D20. You roll these with every snap. The first one tells us what the play call of the offense is. That will tell us whether there's a modifier by the defensive player that would change the call at the line of scrimmage or change the call uh, however you would imagine the play call changes. And then, of course, the second die... The second die will tell us the effect of the second table. So the blue die, or one die, or if you're using just one die, you roll for the first die and you get that information, then you roll if you needed to for a second. So you don't need two dice, you don't need two, but... So we roll always for the offensive play call. We, If there's a, a parenthetical statement, 
That means we refer to the opposing defensive player. If that defensive player is a plus or minus, we modify back or uh, either plus up the chart or negative down the chart. That changes the new play, and then we do whatever's in the second column of the, of the final play, right? So pretty simple. That tells us our offensive play, parenthetical statement, rating of the opposing defensive player will move it up or down then that is the final play result and then if there is a second if there is a tertiary or a secondary defensive effect we use this role to decide that fate and that's how the game works that is it in a nutshell it's it's actually super simple we only need the d6 when we need the d6 the game will tell you when you need a d6 i used to have the d6 involved in every play now I can roll it with everything, but it may never be used, right? So we really have streamlined the speed of the game. Uh, again, this chart is also in the back page here, and this chart is also in the front of the book where we're teaching the game. But uh, all you need is, they're all the same chart. Uh, it's just, it's for convenience, it's on the back of the book. Okay, so we got our chart there. So let's go ahead and roll. Let's say odd, Denver wins the coin toss. Uh, Denver does, and they're going to elect to receive. So we're going to start this game off. And remember, in, our, in my game, we use actual uh, uh, static special teams. So their kick return is 22. That is counted from the goal line as if the ball is kicked around the goal line. They're going to bring it out 22. He has no asterisk. So there's no chance to return it for a touchdown. But there is a chance for a fumble. Right? So we roll for a fumble, no fumble. So Denver, it's going to be Denver, first and 10, own 22. And now we play football. <clears throat> All right, so Denver on the field for them is Stevenson under center. We have Weathers, Arlington, and Paulson, uh, Paulston as the receivers. And we have Goldsmith and Penner in the backfield. All right, here we go. So we're going to roll the ball. And the first roll we get is a three. So let's walk through this. Three. Three on this chart says offensive fumbles the ball, linebacker. So we look over here at the linebacker position, zero for Columbus. That's the enemy linebacker, zero. So no modifier. It is indeed going to be a fumble. And if this is 11 plus on that, uh, on the red die, it is a 12. Then the fumble is lost. Defense recovers. So first play of the game, I can give this to whoever I want to. There was no yardage affected here. It's assumed the fumble is a line of scrimmage change. Interception is returned back from the line of scrimmage. That's how those changes occur in my game. We don't waste time with a lot of extraneous rolls and checks. We're using what has been uh, 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 noted in the hidden game of football, the uh, over 50 years, 75 years of pro football, how that really works. It, 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 for my game, anyway, right? Not all football, not all football sims, but for this football sim. So it's been a fumble loss. We're going to go ahead and give it to the quarterback. Stevenson will say fumbled from center. And the linebacker, so it's a fumble loss. Wow, this is a killer. And all of a sudden, Columbus, who won their first game of the year, 35-21, in Denver, is at home and gets a big play here. So it's first and 10 on the defense is 22. So they're only 22 yards away from Pater. Starting for this offense is Watson at quarterback. Thomas and Wilson are the backs. James Webb and Stevens are our receivers. And here we go. They get the ball after a fumble loss by the quarterback. So we're going to look at the first chart. The number on the first die is eight. Eight is back runs for seven yards. Linebacker. The linebacker for Denver is a zero. So we don't modify uh, up or down. It's seven yards. There is no secondary check. Right, so he runs for seven yards. Linebacker could shift this, but he doesn't. And there is no secondary check. It is a seven yard run. So beautiful run for Thomas. And it's gonna say back. That can be anybody you want. Uh, all you need to know from BK is, is the BK modifier if it shows up on the second column. But back just means a back on your team carried the ball for seven yards. We're gonna give it to Thomas. So Thomas is gonna get a seven yard run. Thomas, seven yard run, and it is going to be Columbus second and three at the defense's 15 yard line, baby. And already Columbus about to turn a fumble into big, big money. Here we go. Okay, so we got a two on the first chart. Oh man, I bumped it off that two. Quarterback sacked, DL. The DL for Denver shifts up one, so we shift up one. Offense fumbles the ball, so Denver's 
uh, defensive lineman gets in the face of the quarterback. Ball is fumbled and 18. It is recovered by the defense. So Denver takes it back, stopping what would have been a, a, a beautiful chance for them. So this is going to be quarterback Watson. You can see that as a strip sack fumble. Uh, fumbled snap and the DT uh, the defensive lineman falls on it. The defensive lineman for them, we have, I can roll here. It's two. It's going to be Van Druid recovers that fumble. So Watson, fumble lost, and Van Von Druid recovers it for Denver. Denver saves themselves. It's first and 10 at their own 15. So we've had back to back fumbles early in this game. By the way, this is a possession based game. That's already two possessions of the first quarter gone. So we've, we're already halfway through the first quarter. So when somebody says, oh, man, your game's going to produce too much of something, well, it's a 5% chance you're going to roll the number. It's another, then it's about a 45% it's about a chance it might actually get turned over. So you can, if you don't turn the fumble over, you can just ignore the fumble and just call it a zero run. It doesn't make any difference, right? It still amounts to the same thing, right? Okay, here we go, Denver. And 17 is going to be a pass. Seven and three might come up. So we look at 17 for the first chart. 17 says pass to the receivers, RC or any of your receivers, for nine yards. However, 13 plus is incomplete. Now, we modify the, by the quarterback's rating. Denver's quarterback is a zero. So 13 or more, it's going to be batted away. Seven. So it is completed for nine. We're going to give it to the tight end, Arlington. Nine-yard pass, baby. That sounds like a tight end. Uh, waggle right there. So it's going to be pass for nine to Arlington. And there it is, man. Denver second and one. Let's see if somebody can avoid turning it over here at their own 24, just like that. Second down for Denver. And it's going to be a 19, another pass. Eight. I don't think eight's going to affect play either. 19. 19 says it is a pass to the receiver for first down, DB. Columbus's DB moves it minus two. So great defense by Columbus, minus two. So we go down two, one, two. It's a pass to the receiver for nine again, 13 plus. Nope, it's eight on the second number. It's completed for nine. This one, we're going to swing it. So since they forced us to change plays, I'm going to assume he checks it down to the back pinner. It's a catch by the halfback. So I can, I can make sense of this, right? It was going to be a first down pass, but the DB forced it down. Nine yards. I'm going to say he basically sees the coverage and dumps it down to the fullback. Goldsmith's going to get nine yards. Pass. Nine to Goldsmith. And we got us a first down. Denver, they're moving out of their own territory. First and ten, another nine at their own 33. So we're moving now. Denver's not turned it over a second time. Here we go. So 16 and eight. So again, we first don't get uh, the D6. So let's leave out. Eight, 16. Let's look at that first. Pass to the back for seven yards. So again, we're looking for a back, but the linebacker might force a change. Again, Columbus's linebackers are zero, so no change. 16 says, pass to the back for seven. So he dumps it down to a uh, pinner out of the backfield. 14 plus is batted away. The quarterback rating is a zero. I got an eight, so it's complete to pinner for seven more yards. So our quarterback right now is thrown three completions in a row. All of them a tight end, and now both backs have caught a pass as Denver is marching. Second and three at their own 40. They're almost at midfield already, folks. So that, that turnover on the first play of the game could have been deadly. Fortunately, they stripped it and got it back, and Denver now is marching on their third, second possession, their second possession of the first quarter. 15 is going to be a pass, I believe. So we look at 15. 15 pass to the back for five. There is no parenthetical check right so we don't check any other defense it's just straight up this is an automatic pass completed to a back for five yards and there is no secondary check so it's an easy uh, pass again pass and we're going to pass this to uh, pinner again so back to back catches for pinner and denver with another first down first and 10 own 45 yard line holy cow denver's moving all right, 17 is going to be another pass. 14 could be incomplete this time. So 17, pass to the receiver for nine. We're going to say that's uh, X receiver Weathers. But we're going to be looking at uh, 17. We're going to be looking at, oh, there is no parenthetical statement. So it's a nine-yard strike 
but 13 plus, it's going to be batted away. Our quarterback is a zero, so 13 and up on the red die. The red die is 14. It's incomplete, so the defensive back breaks up a beautiful pass to weather. So this will be pass, uh, incomplete, and I'll put in the parentheses here, weather. So I know that he was a target, but it was incomplete. Denver, second and 10. If I'm going too fast, I hope I'm not, and we are still at the 45 of our own 45. All right, here we go. 19. Holy cow, this quarterback is throwing nothing but passes this drive. Uh, pass to the receiver for a first down. DB moves it down two, so we've seen this before. One, two. It's a nine-yard pass, 13 and up, 14 batted away. So back-to-pass incompleted passes. Now, I'm going to say he went to Weathers and then came back over to Paulson, and it was batted away. So I'm changing it to Paulson on that one, right? So now it's third down, back-to-back -back incomplete passes at their 45. And that was their one, two, three, four, five, sixth straight pass for the Denver Highlanders here on the road in noisy Columbus, Columbus Owls. And it's going to be a two. This isn't going to be good. Two is sacked. DL moves it. No DL adjustment. So again, we look at two on the first chart. Quarterback sacked. DL. DL is a zero. So we don't shift it up or down. Now we look over here. 1D6 plus five yards lost. I rolled a two plus five, seven yard sack. So we get a sack by the DL. Let's roll to see which sack. The DL for Columbus is six. One, two, three, four, five. Lily gets the sack. So Lilly gets the sack for seven, minus seven yards. Denver's going to be forced to punt. Fourth and 17, own 38, and they're going to punt the ball. And again, all we're rolling for on a punt is a chance at a block. So I just rolled to see if there's a block. There is no block, right? So our punt is going to go 40 yards, punt 40. And the punt returner for these guys is nine. No chance at a touchdown return, but... There is a chance he could fumble, and no fumble. So 9 from 40 is 31 net, so it's a 31 net. And that's going to mean Columbus is going to get the ball. 38 and 31 is 69. They're going to get the ball at their own. They're going to get the ball at their own 29, right? So it's first and 10, own 29. So Columbus, and this will be the final possession so we've had one, two, three. This will be the final possession of the first quarter. So far, pretty good. Denver was moving, and then suddenly two incompletions and a sack by Lilly. And we got a ball game, baby, and I'm tracking stats. Right? Okay. So let's see what Columbus does. Uh, seven. So uh, seven is back, runs for three yards. There is no parenthetical adjustment, defensive adjustment. And there is no secondary defensive effect. It's a three-yard run for the fullback. Easy does it. Wilson gets three on a run. Three-yard run. And Columbus, second and seven, own 32. Beautiful, baby. Let's see what Columbus can do. Uh, 15. So the first roll is 15. Pass to the back for five. There is no parenthetical adjustment. There is no secondary D adjustment. It's going to be a straight-up five-yard pass. So he dumps it down to Thomas. Pass to Wilson for five yards. And Columbus looking pretty good here. Third and two at their own 37. And Columbus would like to get a first down to keep this drive going. And here we go. It's going to be five. Ooh, five. Quarterback runs. DL plus one. So actually Denver's going to force the quarterback up. He actually... He actually hands it off. So the quarterback was calling his own number on a, on a let's say, an option. Maybe he does call an option, and instead of, instead of running it himself, he hands it off or pitches it out to the back for four yards and a first down. We're going to pitch it out to Thomas. So he keeps it, uh, and, and when the DL makes it, force it, he forces it, he pitches it out. Thomas with a four-yard run. And Columbus, first and ten. Own 41, and Columbus gets their first first down of the day. All right, here we go. And it's going to be 15 and 14. This is probably going to be incomplete. Let's see. So 15 says, pass to the back for five. Nope, it's a straight pass to the fullback. So uh, Wilson's going to catch a pass for five, and that's it. There is no parenthetical shift. There is no secondary adjustment. 
and it's a five yard dink pass to the fullback out of the backfield. Now remember, I could be subbing in other players too, but right now I'm sticking with the starters. Second and five, own 46. So they're getting it up to midfield. Denver got to midfield and had to punt. So let's see what happens. Seven. Back runs for three, no parenthetical adjustment, no secondary defensive role adjustment. It's a three yard run. We're gonna give this to Wilson as well. So the fullback's getting some work here on this drive. A three yard run, beautiful. And Columbus, third and two at their own 49. So we're at the midfield stripe. Here we go, it's third and two. They gotta get this first down. Let's see if we get four. Pass to the back for a first down, exclamation point. That's what it is unless the defense can bat it away. Their quarterback's plus one. So 11, so that plus one, the quarterback plus one is added to this number. 10, his quarterback's darn good. Plus one is 11. So 11 plus on the red die is batted away. Seven, it's caught for a first down. The sad thing is it's only for the first down. It's a two yard completion to Thomas. So he gets the first, but he flows a quick swing pass. Thomas lowers his head and picks up two yards, but he's stuck right there. First and 10 at the defense's 49 now, and he crosses midfield. So Columbus's first drive, they've now crossed midfield. This is the second time they've been in Denver territory in the first quarter. Here we go, four. Pass to the back for a first down. 10 plus is incomplete, yep. So 10 plus the quarterback's plus one is 11. 17 on the second number, bats it away, incomplete. So pass, incomplete, and that's said to a bat. So we're gonna say that was to, I'm gonna bring in a backup on that. We're gonna say King, he's C. So in the old pro set, A was your halfback receiver, B was your fullback receiver, C was your, your third, your slot receiver, or your third back. So we're gonna say they had subbed in King, and we're looking for King on a target. And, of course, it was incomplete. So King's in the game for Thomas, I mean for Wilson. So we're going with a two-back offense, but no fullback. It's going to be King and Thomas. And King will be a slot receiver. He's going to be out here basically in the slot with the three receivers. Man, we have not seen uh, any big plays yet, which has been nice. Well, fumbles, a couple fumbles. All right, 18. Oh, by the way, that made it um, second and 10. Columbus, second and 10 at their own 49. And we got 18 and seven. So 18, pass to the receiver for 13 yards. We're gonna go to James, the wide receiver. DB modifies this, their DB's minus one, so he's gonna be forced to check over uh, to the tight end web, and it's gonna be complete. Yep, uh, 13 plus, it's incomplete. I rolled a seven, it's going to be, so 14 plus with this quarterback. I rolled a seven, so it's completed pass for nine yards, pass. For nine to Webb, the tight end. And Columbus is now third and one on their own, uh, no, excuse me, on the defenses. On the defenses 40 yard line. Woo, Columbus looking good. They gotta get this first down, third and one. Okay, 12, on the first roll is 12. 12 is back runs for a loss of two. There is no parenthetical adjustment. There is no secondary adjustment. It's a straight loss of two. So Thomas gets hammered in the backfield in this uh, slot set, one back set with a slot receiver, not enough, he gets a negative two run. That's gonna make it fourth down, what a brilliant game. It's gonna be at the defense's 42 now. So now it's fourth and three at the D42. Uh, in our game, right, our field goal can only be kicked from the 38, so they're too far out to kick a field goal. A punt is automatically 42, we're at the 42, so it would go to the goal line and through the end zone. So that's what we're going to do. I'm not going to go for it here. So we're going to punt. It's going to be a touchback, right? 42 on the 42 is automatically going to hit at the goal line, right? We don't modify. Remember, we static uh, special teams, right? So a touchback. So Denver, that'll be the first quarter, by the way. That's our fourth possession. One, two, three, and the fourth possession. That's the first quarter, zero, zero. First quarter in the books, beautiful. And I can put a line here so I don't mess up. That is first quarter. And let's go ahead and just look at some numbers <coughs> from that first quarter. So Denver had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, eight plays in that first quarter, uh, not counting the punt. We don't count the punt. 
Um, and then Columbus had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Uh, so Columbus had 11. Denver had 8. That's 19. That's uh, 11 and 8 is 19 plays. Doing possessions. Uh, if I count the punt, that's 20 plays. Uh, a, a traditional regulation football game should be about 30 uh, plays from scrimmage. So you can see that four possessions is shorter than normal. Remember, five or six is really regulation. So you could play six and get the other 10 and get a full regulation. Remember, I, I built the game to be played in four possession quarters. Statistically, your league is going to be relative to whatever you play. We're not trying to be the NFL. We're not trying to be college football. We're not trying. We're just we're playing our own fictional professional football league. So I would have I would have whatever stats I get will be relative over the course of the season, over the course of careers. But there's the first quarter done. Uh, and again, I didn't need a football field. I didn't. Uh, I don't need to track secondary stats. I got all my stats. I got all my data right here. Um, and we're done. Right, first quarter's in the books. Denver. Uh, zero, Columbus zero on the road in our, uh, this is called the BCFL 1974 season. And uh, that's it. That's how you do it. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I'll try to answer them via comments. But again, um, the first die roll is the offensive, original offensive call. If there's a parenthetical defensive position, that opposite team's modifier of zero, minus one, plus one, plus two, whatever, will move it up or down. That becomes the actual play call. Then that play call, we look at, we don't look at the parenthetical statement on the second roll. First roll, if there's a parenthetical statement, we adjust. On the second one, we do we ignore it. You do not do it again. But you do use the defensive D20 adjustment, right? If this die, if the secondary die is in that range, that result is what occurs. And there you have it, folks. That is Big Country Football in a nutshell. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.